everybody? <laughs> you haven't seen me in a day because I didn't vlog at all yesterday, which was Monday. Today is Tuesday. And so the reason why you're seeing me today is because we have a different schedule this Tuesday. So you get to see me because Thanksgiving's tomorrow and stuff. Not, not that. Thanksgiving's Thursday, honey. Yes, I know. I'm leaving tomorrow. That's why I'm thinking Thanksgiving yeah. is tomorrow. Because I'm going home tomorrow. But... So, <laughs> I got back from work, because I had to work today, because today was a Friday schedule, so I had to work today because I work on Fridays, and thank God I don't have my internship today, actually, because I wouldn't be able to get in my room to get my keys to drive over there, so I got back, right? There's a little conundrum, though, folks. Yeah, there's a little, there, there's a little problem. <laughs> so I got back, right, and I come in, and I... I, I can get in, I get into the suite, right? And then I go to open up my room, and it's locked. But, you know what, what was even better is that Taylor is halfway through Rhode Island by now on our way home with Max. <laughs> so, I need this to say, I am locked out of my room room right now. I can get into my suite, obviously, because I am sitting on the couch. But, I can't get into my room room, which is a problem, because I need my car keys by at least, like, 1.30. So that I can take Nicolette to get dropped off at the shuttle that takes her to the airport. Because Nicolette's fight leaves at 6 tonight. <laughs> and so between 2.30 and 3 I was going to drop her off. But I can't do that if I don't have car keys. Also, Taylor didn't know that she left the room locked. Because in our group message we told her and she was like, Wait, I locked it? And I was like, oh Taylor. Yes, Taylor, <laughs> you locked the room and now I don't have my car keys. So, now so we're quite frankly, for either three RAs to get back to us or our CD. Yes, we have we've checked with RAs and there is not a one around. So now we are waiting for the one of the three RAs to either get back and then in a few when I go downstairs to go see get a boyfriend because he's leaving today. I'm gonna check again to see if our community director is in his office because if he's in his office, then he can let me in, and then that, that's. A problem solved. And it's not like I need them right now. It's just well, I need to get into my room because I need to do things in my room. Like, I need to clean. I need to vacuum. I need to get stuff to pack and organize myself for tomorrow, even though I'm not leaving till tomorrow. It's still just like, you know, you know. So, needless to say, Alyssa is not getting in her room for quite some time. We know that we know that one of the RAs gets off gets out of class at like one thirty ish, but it's currently like. She also said to find someone, so I don't think she's in the mood to do this. <laughs> I'm just gonna have to be like, listen, fam, I need my car key so that I can drop somebody off at the airport. Well, I mean, like Sean will get back. Sean will be back. Sean will be back soon. I'm waiting. I'm waiting for a CD to get back because I know he'll be back and he'll just be chilling in his office. So, Gabby should be around soon, too. Yeah, exactly. So, we're just waiting for somebody to be around. I heard so I heard a door open and close. I don't know if that was Gabby's or if that was the suite across from us, but... Maybe it was the suite across from us. But we can check we in a bit. We could check in, like, another half hour to see if it was Gabby's. Yeah. So, we're doing the waiting game now. Yep, yep. It's not like I don't have anything to entertain me. I have my laptop. So, I could easily be on my laptop doing something, which is probably what I'm going to do now. Just it's because... And there's also the TV, too, but I started doing something on my laptop that I want to finish, but when I started it, I started it, like, five minutes before my shift ended, and I was like, well, I'm not going to get very far in this right now. So, I'll probably do that, and I'll keep you updated, time-wise, as to when I get my keys back and such, because, man, of all days, we just, like, Taylor and I never lock our door. We don't. Let's just preface that is that we they don't never. We never lock our door. We sh we shut it so that way it looks like it's locked and the door shut so you can't see in it. We shut it every once in a while, especially when the cleaning people come to clean the suite. We shut it so that way they don't have a reason to go peep into a room to try to clean things and stuff. We shut it, but we don't ever actually lock it. No. There was one day where it actually, where it accidentally did get locked by her, but luckily she was here and I had my keys on me that day. So it's not like it was an issue, but we never actually lock our door because we're like, okay, we live with friends. Who's really gonna, who out of our friends is really gonna come in and take our crap? Because I mean, like, you can't get into our suite unless you have the, I, the I, unless your ID, like, is like validated. So all six of us are the only people who can actually get into the suite without having it with a, like, easily. So... 
It's not like we uh, we need to lock our door, so we we don't. And then this happened today. She accidentally locked the door. I know it was an accident. I'm just like, I'm just like, of all things, of all days. It is bad timing. Of all things of all days, it happened to me today. So I'm going to stop complaining and I'm going to man my phone because once boyfriend pulls up, he wants me to go say goodbye to him. I'm going to go downstairs and check and see if our CD's back when I'm down there and maybe I'll try the RA again. But life sucks sometimes, fam. Life sucks. <sighs> Quick update. It's only been probably like 20 minutes since I last vlogged. You last, but... The lighting is terrible. The lighting is terrible. The lighting's gonna be terrible wherever I go, so I really don't care anymore. Um, went downstairs to say goodbye to boyfriend, saw my community director walking out, and I asked him if he had any spare time, because I got locked out of my room, and he basically was just like, nah, I have to go to a meeting, wait for an RA to come back, and I was like, great. So who knows what that's gonna be. <laughs> we can check for Gabby. I'm gonna check for Gabby in, like, in like a few minutes, but... Yeah. Really, like, one of your residents is locked out and you can't, like, two minutes. <laughs> two minutes is all you need. Two minutes. <laughs> I mean, like, it's whatever, like. But, giving you an update on the room situation. Still locked out. Still don't know when I'm actually going to get back in, but we're going to keep checking with RAs and people to let me in because I kind of need my car keys. Update. I'm in my room. Well, not in it right now, but my door's unlocked, and that's all that matters to me. <laughs> is that I can get in it if I need to. So, with that being said, we're probably just gonna chill out here for a little bit longer. Not a little bit longer. It's only one o'clock. We've got quite some time. But, like I said, my internship said I didn't have to go in today, so I've kind of just got nothing to do. And I'm just like, okay. The lighting is just like, my fault, because I'm sitting at an awkward place. But, Probably gonna move all my crap back into my room now because all my crap's out here from when I got back from work. And I'm probably gonna try to clean. Maybe. But I'm probably not going to. So, that being said, I'm in my room. I can get in my room. And that's all that matters to me. Alright, guys. So, I don't think I have vlogged since before I left to go take Nicola to the airport. So, what happened was. I didn't take her directly to the airport. I don't get why I keep saying airport. But basically, I dropped Nicola off at an, an airport park and ride place. Which, obviously, I did not have... She did not have to park because I drove her. But we can, I could still drop her off. And then I dropped, I parked and I went in with her to make sure she got her ticket and all that ready. To get on the shuttle bus, which takes her directly to the gate that she needed to go at the airport in Boston. Um, I was going to drive her directly there, but then, like... A, my mom started screaming at me because she was like, are you stupid? Why are you going to drive directly into Logan Airport? You're you're an idiot. Like, you're going to, like, that's crazy. And then, like, I wouldn't have done it anyways. Like, before, like, like once I had gotten onto the highway. Because the highway, the main highway that it, that it is to get into Boston, which is the airport, which is the highway that you need to get to get to the airport in Boston anyways, was totally, like, backed up. And we were 13 miles away from the airport at that point. So I was like, okay. This is why we're not driving into the... <laughs> this is why I'm driving you to your gate. It's because, it's like, it would take us forever to get in, and then it would take me forever to get out. So, I ended up just dri dropping her off at the parking ride. I made sure she got her ticket and everything. Um, we said goodbye, and then I went and I got Starbucks. I got um, a gingerbread latte, because holiday drinks are everything now, apparently. No, I got it at the end of the day, and I wanted to try it. Oh, oh wait, I vlogged that. I vlogged that. Well, I, that wasn't a vlog. You guys know, the other day I tried the gingerbread latte. And it was delicious. So I got another one, except I got it in the bigger size. And then I got a snowman cookie because I was a bit hungry. So I came back, and I've kind of just been chilling ever since. Just this me, me, and Jen, Jen that's left because Max and Taylor left this morning. Max drove Taylor home. And, yeah, we've kind of just been chilling. I mean, like, Amanda and Jen are, are, have um theater supervisory board at 6. So they didn't, so they are at dinner, and then they're going to go to that. And then the rest of us, then we're gonna, the three of us are just going to kind of gonna hang out for the rest of the night. I mean, like, we're probably gonna go to bed super early. Um, Amanda needs to finish packing, because Amanda has to get up at, like, 6 a.m. Amanda has to get up at 6 a.m. for a 7 o'clock ride to the airport, because she leaves at 10 a.m. Her flight takes off at 10 a.m. Speaking of which, it's 5.39. Nicolette should be texting me soon, telling me she's boarding. Her flight's leave, her, Nicolette's flight leaves at 6, so she should be boarding at about, like, 5 or 10 minutes or something like that. And then she should be sending me a text letting me know that she's, that she's boarding and on the plane. So... 
with that being said, Jen and I are going to, Jen is, Jen is leaving the room at about 11.30 to head down to our student center to say, to stay there until her mom can get her. And as for me, I don't know what time I'm leaving yet tomorrow. I'm going to get up, I mean, like, I don't, the thing is, the thing with me is, is that I really don't have anything to pack my clothes in. I have a weekend duffel bag, and since I'm going to be gone for five days, I mean, like, that's not, that's definitely not going to be enough. So I'm thinking I'm going to get up really early tomorrow morning and do a load, an, a really, really, really early load of laundry. So that way I can pack things in my laundry hamper. Regardless, I'm going to bring my laundry home with me anyways, even if I don't get it done tomorrow. But I'm going to need to bring my pillow, my laundry hamper, my, um, my backpack for my laptop and books and stuff like that. And then I'm going to need to bring my bag with my clothes and stuff like that. I mean, like, I'm only going to, I'm, bro I'm only going to bring back my Uggs because I only wear the same pair of shoes. I only, I like, every day, unless it is, like, da torrential downpouring, I will wear my Uggs during the winter. Like, once, like, once, like, literally once it hits mid-October and it starts to get into, like, the 40s, 40s and 50s here in New England, I break out the Uggs and that's all I will wear until, like, Torrential snow, where I need to wear my snow boots, or like torrential rain, where I'll where I'll need to wear my rain boots. I am basically in the same pair of shoes until after, until springtime. Then I start with switching back to my combat boots, my sneakers, and stuff like that. So at least I'm only gonna bring back, bring back one thing. But we're gonna I'm gonna be home for five days, so I'm gonna leave tomorrow on Wednesday, and I'm gonna come back on Sunday. Granted, I do have clothes at home that I can wear, like I have sweaters and stuff at home that I can wear. It's just. The more I can bring back, the better. I mean, like, I'm gonna... I don't even know. Like, I don't know how I'm gonna get all my stuff home. And then when I come back, I'm gonna be... Um, when I come back, I'm gonna be, like, getting, like... I'm gonna be getting things. Like, I'm gonna get two pack, two 15 packs of sweet tea so that I have 30, and that will last me for the rest of the semester, I hope. And then... I think that's... And then I'm gonna bring back another... I'm gonna go to be... I'm gonna get another package of bulk pasta. And then... That's pretty much all I'm gonna get. I'm all, gonna, I'm all I'm gonna bring back is I'm not really bringing back many winter clothes because I have my like Christmas sweaters here. I have the cutest like the two cutest penguin Chris, like winter Christmas jumper like sweaters like ever. I've just been holding off on wearing them. One is strictly like penguin Christmassy, so I'm gonna start wearing it next week probably. And then the other is just a penguin with a cute little bow tie on him that is just winter sweater. So I could start wearing him now, but I feel like people are gonna give me flack because it's kind of wintery Christmassy themed, even though we're not technically a winter yet. But I'm kind of less like rambling because nobody's around. Like I was gonna like my thing with like me not going home tonight is is that once I get out of school when I get out of school, my, my the road that's like directly out of my school is like is like a main route that connect that that goes from like practically near where I live all the way up here near Boston. So that's backed up all the time at like about this time, which is about the time I, w I would have been scheduled to leave at anyways. And then when I and then I get onto the highway, and that highway's backed up because there's a split. You can either go right, which takes you to my house, or you can go left, which takes you to Boston. But then if I don't, I go right, the track is going to be back, is going to be backed up over there. And then you go even further down and then you get backed up when you get to the exits that either take you to the Cape or towards, or north towards Worcester. So you're backed up when you get to the Cape and Worcester exits. And then once you get past those, you're backed up again because you're merging from two, from three lanes to two on a really, really kind of narrowing more road. And then like, once I get past that, I have to get onto another highway, which is sometimes backed up a little bit on the ramp, so it's, like, traffic, like, either way, and when I was on, and I was coming back from dropping Nicolette off at, like, like, 3.30, 3.45-ish, and the road outside my school and the highways on, and the highways on both directions were already so backed up, I'm like, you know what, it's not even worth it to go home at this point, because I'd be sitting in traffic for longer than I so desire, and so I just figured it'd be easier just to leave tomorrow morning. I mean, like, we have to be out of here by 12, so... I will probably wake up sometime between, like, knowing me, sometime between, like, 8 and 9 is what I'm probably going to end up waking up. So I'll probably just end up waking up. I'll wake up, and I will probably just, like, get, like, my crap together, and I will probably just, like, head right out. I mean, like, like, it's, like, by, by the time I wake up, it's just going to be me and Jen, and Jen will be awake, and Jen will be packing, will be getting her stuff ready to go, and then Amanda's already going to be gone by that point. So it's, like, Nothing, there's really nothing even keeping me here now because, I mean, like, boyfriend's gone. You know, like, boyfriend's gone. Boyfriend's made it back home safely, he's told me, and 
I, it's like there's nothing like really keeping me here tonight except for the fact that I don't want to drive at night and I don't want to drive in the dark. Like, that's the same thing. I don't want to drive at night and I don't want to drive in traffic. Those are the two things that are keeping me here. <laughs> Guys, I need, like, rest, which is why I'm staying here, too. Because I know that I can stay here tonight and it will be basically dead silent. I mean, like, if I go home, I have the risk of my dogs barking and waking me up and stuff like that. I know here that at least if I stay here tonight, there will be dead silence for the most part. Because, I mean, like, when I'm, like, Jen has rehearsal tonight, so Jen's not going to get back for a really long time. And then Amanda's going to get back, and Amanda's basically just going to, like, retreat into her room and, like, watch Netflix and YouTube for the rest of the night. So, I mean, like, there's, like, not, is there's not much, and there's not, like, there's TV on tonight to watch or anything. I don't think The Flash is on tonight. I'll actually have to ask that. The I'll actually have to ask boyfriend that. I'll have to ask if Flash is on tonight. I'm sorry I'm picking up my face, but there's this, like, pimple, ingrown hair thing that's really bugging me. And it's, like, it's bugging the shit out of me, and it's like, oh. And the, yeah, I've rambled enough. This clip is eight. It's, like, almost nine minutes long. It's just me rambling. But, yeah, I'm gonna stop now, and I'm probably gonna make myself some chicken tenders and pasta for dinner tonight because I'm not going to walk all the way down to the student center because it's probably, A, there's going to be nobody there, and B, there's probably not going to be any good food because they know that nobody's going to be here except, like, RAs and people who, like, have, like, commitments tonight. So I'm going to stop. I'm going to make myself some chicken tenders and pasta, and I'm going to call it a day. I'm not alone anymore! Amanda's back. Amanda's on rant mode. Yeah, Amanda's in rant mode, but I just wanted to say Amanda's back. I'm not alone anymore. It's been very lonely. It's gonna be a lonely night. It's gonna be a little lonely, but <laughs> it's hey, gonna be a little lonely. But I mean, what do you mean lonely? I'm always alone in my room. Yeah, true. <laughs> <laughs> you're always alone. You're used to it. I have somebody with me most of the time. This is me. What are you talking about alone? I'm always in my single. Exactly. <laughs> so we're kind of just. I'm making food finally. I'm going back home tomorrow. Amanda's really happy to go back home tomorrow. Three hour flight back to Miami. Oh, at least it's not a six hour flight like Nicolette's on right now. Ha! <laughs> She's probably been in the air for about an hour now. If Nicolette, if you watch this later, ha! <laughs> so that's also another update I can give you guys. At like, at quarter of six, Nicolette said she got on the plane. Her flight was supposed Ew, to. Her my flight mom was is calling again. Her flight was set to take off at six. Hi, mommy. <laughs> I'm keeping that in. No, Nicolette's flight was set to take off at six. So if it took off on time, like she said, it was gonna be on time. Um, um, can't you find my dorm? Then she's probably been in the air for about an hour, which That's is good. Strange. I told her um to text me when she lands, even though I'll be asleep because it's a it, it's a six hour flight. Yes. So five plus six. Resident Hall. I need to do math. That would be like... Oh, that would be 11. I, probably, I might still be up at 11. Probably not, but I might. But, yeah. Bye, Mom. So, Nicolette's been Bye. in a plate in the flight in the air for probably about an hour now, which is good. Ugh. <laughs> as long as her flight left on time. <laughs> okay. My back was fucking killing me yesterday. I don't even know why or how. Well, this morning, my back cracked this morning. I was like, oh, Jesus. I'm ditching 30 degree weather for a nice 80 degree. Well, you know what, Amanda? Nobody asked you what kind of weather you'd be. I'm thinking Nicolette's probably in similar weather, to be honest. Amanda's new shirt. She got in her Harry Potter loot crate the other no, day. No, no, I got it only in the regular. In the what? The regular one. Oh, just the regular loot crate? Yeah. Oh, your special ones at home? Yes. Okay. I get it. My hair is just like, eh. Old navy liquid repellent jeans? I want. Liquid repellent jeans? Yeah, I could pour a whole thing of, of coke on myself and it ain't I kind of need those. I'm clumsy. Just like I need the, the water resistant Uggs. I need those. I'm not a clean person. I've needed those like yesterday because I mean like from like from, like, with the time it gets to be, like, mid-October until, like, April, I wear my Uggs, like, every single day. Yeah, but, okay, don't you... I'm gonna bring back my other pair. I have two pairs. <laughs> I'm bringing back my other pair on Sunday. I really only bring my gray ones? Well, I have, a, I have my ones, and I have gray ones, too, which I'm gonna bring back. Oh, no, for the plane. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring flip-flops in my bag. Well, yeah, because... Florida. You'll be going into Florida. You don't need Uggs in Florida. Except when it gets... Except when it gets to 50 degrees. When it gets to 50 degrees, oh no! 50 degrees! Time to break out the winter jacket! <laughs> you should have just seen Nicolette!
that today on the way in. She had like her big fluffy like North Face, and then she had like hat, and she had like she had a hat, and then she had gloves, and she had a scarf. And I was like, dude, you look like an idiot. You're going to Los Angeles. You don't need this much. No, and she's I like, I'm just gonna put it in my carry on, and I'm like, Nicolette. The only reason why I bring the big fluffy coat to the airport with me is because I can use it as a blanket on the plane. Yeah, maybe that's what she's doing. I don't know. Yeah, it might sit here. So. I don't know. She's got like three books. She's got like three books and a couple of movies on her laptop. <laughs> She'll Actually, be good. What, a couple movies? More like twenty. I don't know. I mean, like and she said that. Got, that's what she said on Instagram. And I also got the first, the first two seasons of Sailor Moon on my computer. Yeah, exactly. You're set for three hours. See, your and laptop can make these, and you're only going three hours, so your laptop can make it I three hours. Nicolette's going six. I have The Sims. <laughs> I have Animal Crossing on my DS. Yeah, you'll you're set. I can't. No, honestly, I've been addicted. That got really addicted to Animal Cross. Inc. I've never even played it. I it's never so ended up getting it for my DS. But do you know what the fun part about it is? That it's kind of slow when you first start it, but now that I'm at a really high level town, my also I got one of my favorite YouTube, one of the gamer YouTubes I watch. Mm -hmm. I happened to get a villager she wants. Oh really? So I typed him like, haha, I got it. <laughs> I got two of the villagers she wants. And I'm like, haha, rub it in, rub it in, rub it in. She's like, well, you have, you have. Diana, the deer, and I'm like, uh, yeah. I didn't even try for her. She just moved in. Yeah. <laughs> I have an addiction. I, am sorry. I know. Honey, go clean your room. I also have a ram clown. Go clean your room, My honey. Name is Pedro. You need to clean so you can pack. <laughs> I don't want to leave. <laughs> can I just be in the suite alone without you people? Just lock yourself in the bathroom or something. <laughs> no, imagine they were like, no, they're probably going to turn off. They want us to, we need to fix the thermostat before we leave. No, no, it would be funny if they're like, is anyone here? Hide in the fridge. <laughs> no, hide in the closet over there. They won't expect the closet. <laughs> or no, I hide in, in the, like, I, I take all the stuff out of underneath there and I hide in there. Yeah, but then they're going to be like, why are all their stuff out? <laughs> I can just fit in there with her. Okay. I'm going to be uncomfortable for like a couple minutes. Okay, well. Oh, my hair is like falling out. Your hair is falling out? Well, yeah, true. I mean, this is worse than mine. <laughs> I usually bobby pin it back. But today I didn't because I kind of did it spontaneously. But whatever. Okay, I'm going to stop rambling now. I'm going to try to write something because I've been doing a lot of photoshopping lately, but I haven't been really writing. And I really want to finish this first chapter of this fanfic before huh. I lose my muse to write it. Yeah. I mean, it's, already lost her muse. She already wrote, like, the first two chapters. I have, like, half of a chapter. Not even half. I have a quarter of the first chapter. I know exactly how I want this first chapter to go. And I'm... It's, um... Hold on a moment.